everybody. In this video, we're going to talk about the graph domain and range of a logarithmic function. We're told to graph the function f of x equals negative log base 4 of x plus 3 and give its domain and range using interval notation. So before we go ahead and graph this, let's talk about the transformations or translations that are going to happen with this function. This negative out in front of the log is going to reflect the graph. This plus 3 is going to shift it up, up 3. Now this is compared to the function log base 4 of x. Yeah, that log base 4 of x doesn't have any shifts or any reflections in it at all. So let's go ahead and graph log base 4 of x. Log base 4 of x is going to have a point at 0, 1. And then, so I wrote that wrong. It's a point at 1, 0. So it's going to have a point at 1, 0. And then it's going to have a point at B, 1, where B is 4. B is our base. So we're going to have a point at 4, 1. So I graphed log base 4 of x in this blue. It's going to look like this, and it has an asymptote. Okay, we'll do, worry about the asymptote in a little bit. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to draw the graph when it's reflected across the, what does that do? That reflects it across the x-axis. So this point, 1, 0, that across the x-axis doesn't do anything. But this point, 4, 1, reflects across to go to 4, negative 1. Then all these other points are going to reflect across the x-axis in this manner. But now, <clears throat> to graph the whole function, the whole piece of the function, I need to include the up 3. So this point that was at 1, 0 needs to go up 3, 1, 2, 3. And this point that was at 4, negative 1 needs to go up 3, 1, 2, 3. And then all of the other points will also move up. So it will end up looking like this. Now did anything shift to the left and right to affect my vertical asymptote? No. So I'm going to have still have a vertical asymptote at y equals 0. So what is the domain and the range of this function? My domain are our x values, so I don't go into negative infinity. I start just to the right of 0 and then go to infinity. I'm never going to get to 0, so I don't include 0. And then my range. Oh, I. I'm all going to go all the way up to infinity, and this is going to keep going on and on forever, and eventually it will go to negative infinity. So that's my domain, range, and graphing logarithmic, logarithmic functions.